Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunless Sea. Here we are, once again in Sunless Sea. We pick up where we left off last, in Wither. This is a new place that uh, we've discovered up here. Uh, while we came up here, we went back to that Codex place, if you remember. And we did the um, did that task for the Admiralty. We have to go back to, um, to Fall in London after we're done here. But we're just having a little poke around. Me, with my top hat and my mustache on. McNulty from The Wire. And also, Rene Russo is here too. And we still have a comatose ferret among us as well. Let us see what Wither is all about. It's a chilly city beside a waste of salt. Nice. Good. Behind the great arc over the bay, the pale wastes stretch white and silent as the face of the moon. From here, you might almost imagine they were snow. North of the city, the salt pools fizz with unlikely color. Alright, we can gather some intelligence, we can explore the town, or we could do a shore leave in Wither. It's a modest challenge. We have a 75% chance of success. The folk of Wither are quiet and sly and mystical. They subsist on cave fish and the dust burrowing beasts of the waste. Their beer, however, is adequate. Nice. I mean, maybe we could go out and find some beer. I'm sure McNulty is probably thirsty. Rene Russo doesn't look like the type to indulge in beer. She looks more like maybe a Pepsi sort of person, but that's fine. We might find a Pepsi as well. All right, let's do the shore leave. 75% chance, what could possibly go wrong, right? The folk of Wither, quiet, sly, mystical, blah, blah, blah. Keep a low profile. Your advice to your crew goes unheeded. One of them grows irritated at the Wither and habit of answering a question with a question. She punches the mayor's nephew in the nose and is hauled off to the, to, to Gaul. Uh-oh. You ask about the date of their release. When the Wither and constables respond with, what is the price of time? How can one measure freedom? And why do you want to know? You are sorely tempted to follow your crewman's example, but restrain yourself. You are forced, however, to sail without her. Ah, shit. We lost somebody. Did we... We didn't lose Rene Russo, did we? We've lost five terror. Uh, we're now nervous. But we've also lost one crew. Ah, crap. Vale's 25 failed in a cha uh, challenge. Try... Again, and you may have better luck. How did I fail a 75% one? That's crazy. All right, well, we're one crew down. Thankfully, it was not Rene Russo that we lost. Oh, yeah, we need to repair our hull as well. This is going to be important. Okay, what else do we want to do here? We could try this challenge again, but I don't want to lose more crew. But, come on, second time lucky, right? All right, let's do it. Second time lucky. Keep a low profile. Your crew follow your example faithfully. One drinks a little too much pale withern, withern beer and has to be fished from the harbor, but they spend a relatively decorous night gambling for salt and bone and return refreshed. Nice. We succeeded. We've lost five terror. We're now weary. And we've uh, also lost 50 echo. 50 echo? Man, I hope my crew appreciates. That's a lot of money that we just lost on people um, drinking and then falling into the harbor. All right, let's gather some intelligence while we're here as well. Are you asking for any particular reason? At what time of day? Is that your hat? Might it be six? It could be six. Eventually, you cobble together enough implication and supposition to compose a report. We now have a report of Wither. Okay, we'll hand that in to the Admiralty as well. And let's just explore the town as well while we're here. It's quiet, chilly town of Greystone and closed courtyards. People are neither exactly unfriendly nor ex exactly hospitable. Uh, they have the irritating habit of answering a question with a question. Here and there, there are odd sights tucked away. Wow. What? I, okay. Who will try? Who will buy? A street vendor turns skewers on a grill. The mixed acts, the mixed scents, sorry, are nothing like anything sold in London. Huge and pale, uh, and their eyes stare bleakly into yours, but this, they smell fresh. Try the grilled troglodyte prawns. I mean, we have some tough and high-risk challenges here as well. Should we try the prawns? Hell yeah, we're going to try the prawns. Not bad at all. Tangy and toothsome. Walk on, chewing cheerfully. We've lost two tear. We gained a fragment. We lost four hunger. And that's all for now. All right. Are there shops here? Turns out there are. Uh, we can't buy anything from here, though. But we can sell supplies and fuel if we want to. Uh, do they have a shipyard here? There's no shipyard available. Um, okay, perfect. Let us see where we want to go next and move. I think we could go north. I think we can go north. I think we have the supplies 
and the fuel to go north a bit. Just for a little bit. We won't go too far, okay? Just in case. We do want to make it back to fallen London to hand in our report to the Admiralty. Because that seems to be going well so far. Also gives us money. And everybody needs money in this world. Uh, including in the real world as well, you need money. But I think in this one as well, very important to have money. Maybe we can't get through here. There's like the there's a gap over there, but I'm afraid that like we'll get stuck inside all these rocks and stuff. But there could be. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything up here. I mean, maybe there's like some sort of Easter egg up here. Maybe we'll find like Pikachu or something. Like nobody would even dare think to travel up here, right? Past the pale wastes. Well, I'm gonna be that guy. I was promised exploration and adventure in this game, and by Jove. I will find... Okay, you know what? It's a dead end. Already it's a dead end. I thought that we were in for it big time, but it turns out we're not really in for it big time. All there is up here is nothing. Oh, we got some, we got some fragments gained for um, discovering some straits, I think? Not dire straits. Not to be confused with dire straits. These ones are just the Odinson straits. Um, probably not as good at playing the guitar or um, singing their hit song, Money for Nothing and the, and the Chicks for Free. Man, I was listening to that song the other day on, in my house on my Alexa while I was making dinner for my family. And I don't, they were not impressed. I, for some reason, they just don't like that song as much as I do. Like, it's one of my favorites. I, I feel like it's a really good song, but I'm finding it hard to convince my, both my children that it's a good song. Instead, they prefer to listen to Particle Man by They Might Be Giants, which again is a great song, but I mean, sometimes you just want to listen to some uh, MTV by uh, Dire Straits instead of Particle Man on what feels like just constant repeat all the time in my house. But I, again, I'm not complaining because I actually really like Particle Man quite a bit. All right, let us head back to Fallen London then. We'll make our way slowly down here and discover this, like, uh, area here, and then make our way back to Bedder- Wow, Fallen London is far away. Holy crap, I didn't realize we were so far north. Okay, I feel like we're doing pretty good, though. Our captain has not died. We haven't run into anything that we haven't been able to handle just yet. We've discovered a lot of locations. We're doing a lot of cool exploring. Not so much adventuring. We haven't really... I mean, we haven't stopped off at that many places. But we've stopped off at a couple of places. And I think that that's been pretty good. Oh, look at how foggy it is all of a sudden. Uh-oh. A row of watchful Z-Bats. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. What's a Lifeberg? Okay. I mean, it has a, a lot of health. And I'm not sure. Let's try shooting it once. And if we can take off a good chunk of its... Okay, I mean, that's going to take forever to kill. So let's just, oh my god, slowly make our way out of here and escape the um, the Lifeberg. Because I, I don't even know how that works. What is it? Like, is it a gigantic? There's no islands. Okay. It looks like some sort of uh, gigantic, I don't know, maybe crab hiding underneath like an iceberg. And maybe uses the um, the iceberg as, you know, some sort of protected shielding or something. Kant's Abyss. What's this? What is this? Is this like the Bermuda Triangle or something? We're going right over it right now. Okay, it's all clear. Don't worry, everybody. It's all clear. The The berg is gone. Oh, and what's all this crap here? Tanachuk. Have we not stopped at Tanachuk? Or were we not able to stop at Tanachuk? Tanachuk looks like the kind of place that if we stopped off, we could maybe get a port report from. But it doesn't look like we're able to. We have some company down here as well. This is, of course, a smaller crab, which should take no time at all to, to destroy. Uh, but we need to be careful because our hull is a little bit damaged. We don't want this thing to... Jesus Christ, it happened. Okay, the worst has happened. A, a charge move has been... Oh, okay, nice. We've got a bat swarm coming up as well that we need to be careful of. Let's just see what this guy's dropped. The Megalops defeated. With the forlorn and wailing cry, the Megalops turns on its back, legs neatly folded, as bluish blood gouts from its wounds. Its golden glow begins to dim. Uh, we can butcher it for supplies, or we can dissect it. I think we already dissected it, but I think we get some stuff for dissecting it. Let's dissect it again. We have Rene Russo on board. He's set to work with your knives and acids, blah, blah, blah. You succeeded in a pages challenge, and we gained 25 new fragments. We now have 256 
fragments. And what do fragments turn into again? It's like 200 fragments for one secret or something? Alright, it's all clear. Let's do like a quick recon with the bats. I guess like over to the east here, we want to po possibly find some stuff. I mean, the map is big. Look at all the way south as well. Like, it took us forever to get up here to the north. We've almost used up all of our supplies. What the fuck? This bat swarm? Have we dissected bats yet? Shit. You wouldn't think that bats would be able to damage a hull. Like, but they're doing a pretty good job of it. We're just taking like 10 hull damage from a swarm of bats. I don't know what these bats have been feeding on or how the hell they became so mutated that they've been this effective at killing my boat, but it's happening. And it doesn't feel too great. We're just gonna broadside them. Okay, let's see. Let's try to dissect them and see. We can dispose of the corpses, or we can gather up the corpses and put them into a pot. Let's do that. An unorthodox diet. Those little bones are troublesome, and the flesh a little gamey. But salt them well enough, and they're quite edible. We've gained some supplies, but we've gained a new terror as well. And that's because nobody should ever eat bats, because I think they're bad for you. I mean, except for the one time in The Three Amigos when... They were roasting bats and eating crispy bat wings. That's probably the only time I would say that it's okay to do that, to eat the bats. I, they didn't have any other food at the time, much like us, who are running out of supplies here. We're, we also don't have much food. I think our fuel supplies are pretty good, but our, uh, our actual um, supplies supplies are pretty bad. But, as chance would have it, here we are, back in fallen London. Victorious. That's right. We've managed to get the stuff done for the Admiralty. We've discovered a new location. It looks like there's like another ship here. I don't know if maybe that's a fellow explorer or maybe it's a bad guy trying to steal all of my secrets and my stories and all the other stuff. But for now, let us dock. Let's repair our ship and let's uh, hopefully make some, some huge Mahonies while we're here too. Turning to land, collect messages from the harbor master. We don't really need to do that right now, but um, we should probably go to. Okay, let's go collect our messages. This story that only appears when you've been at sea for a little while. Okay, what's this? Something has changed in the neath. Someone wants to sign on. The alarming scholar has invited you to call on her or him at the university. The blind bruiser tends to business on the dock. That's all for now. You have one of this. Another day, a free evening. And another day, the rose market hasn't changed because it's higher than zero. Sure. A little proposal. Good evening, my lord. And what a marvelous evening it is that you don't mind me saying so. And given it is my impression you are on obliging sort I imagine you will not mind at all and since you are so very obliging perhaps you wouldn't mind making a little detour via Mount Palmerston with a few articles of cargo if you happen to be in the area the cheery man will of course cover your expenses for this trifling inconvenience accept the commission ask if there is another task you could perform I don't want to go back up there okay I'm done with the north for now I want to go south instead next time so let's see if there's like a different job I see you are hesitant. Perhaps you might you find Mount Palmerston unbearable, and who could blame you? Well, if you have the vinegar, there is another matter which you might be able to assist me with. Yes, I think you'd be very suitable for this task. Very suitable indeed. Okay. My employer is a gentleman of considerable vitality and also humor. However, as much as it pains me to say, he is not the man he was. Years ago, an ingrate of no current importance poisoned him with cantigaster venom. And he hasn't been right since. Can't walk most days. I have made what may yet transpire to be a rash promise to restore him. And I am hereby soliciting your assistance. Okay. We can we can restore someone's youth and vigor? Alright, sure. I would love to see this happen because I'd like to also apply it to myself. Can you restore someone's youth and vigor? You can try. Uh, some time ago we sent an emissary to the Fathom King's hold. He was to ascertain whether his complexity was aware of a treatment that would restore my employer to his what I am not embarrassed to call glory. Regrettably, the emissary has yet to return. Would you mind tracking him down and ascertaining exactly what the bloody problem is? Uh, why is that blanked out? You accept the cheery man's assignment. Okay, cool. All right, we would like to go and visit the dark-spectacled admiral now. 
Assistance with substance. Ask if the Admiralty can provide a little fuel to cover your costs. This will take you to the dry dock where one point of favor will get you two to three fuel. We don't really need that. We're going to pass on the strategic information that we got from, uh, from the Codex. Good. He's hard to read with those glasses, but he reads the summary intently. Satisfactory, he says at last. Eminently satisfactory, actually. Good work. Take this for your trouble. The clerk will see you paid. We've lost the strategic information, but we've gained 150 bucks. And we gained one times favor with the Admiralty's favor. Nice. We have six so far. That's pretty good, actually. Um, what else? We have some port reports to submit, so let's do it. Uh, visit and investigate ports. Uh, we have one. We have Wither. I refuse to ask any questions. I don't want to give them the satisfaction. Okay, here you go. Have this one. Submit it. All right, we got 20 bucks for that. We gained one favor. A visit to Wither has been confirmed by the Admiralty Records Office. And we got a fuel for our trouble as well. We're now up to eight fuel. We should have nine fuel though, right? No. Um, ask to speak to the, to the guy. Um, ask if there's anything in particular they need. We could ask to speak to the uh, guy again. Hmm, apparently I'm to show you in anyway. Very well. Okay, here he is. Uh, does he need anything else? Vital intelligence can be created from two pieces of strategic information. Oh, that's good. Okay, port reports. Ask what he needs. Ask, okay, let's ask if there's anything in particular he needs. This port. Speak to our agent there and return. We'll see that your reward. Visit the port below. Return. Okay, so we need to go Oh, from Wither again. Oh, God, Jesus. We were just fucking there. Man, okay, you know what? We will go after. Okay, let's go back to the Wolfstack docks. Uh, continue. What? So, hang on a second, though. We had... What's-her-face wanted to speak to me as well, right? The Alarming Scholar. A little present for the, from the Scholar. I've, you've been so very helpful, I wanted to give you something for your next voyage. I bottled it myself. Ooh, thanks. Dark glass. It smells pickled, chemical, salty. Once, it might have been eel flesh, but the Scholar assures you that it has vital and nutritional virtues. Save it for an emergency, perhaps. Okay, we've got two times supplies... And my business with the Alarming Scholar is concluded for now. Right, okay, got you. Good. Everything else is locked. Let's leave the university. Okay, perfect. Our lodgings? Uh, oh, yeah, we want to go to... Who are these guys? The Merchant Venture. An urchin tugs your sleeve. Who's this? I have need of reliable agent. Failing that, an inventive one. Here are my requirements. Okay. Uh, an opportunity for profit. He has very specific needs, but he'll pay much better than market rates, and he won't ask how you came by these things. An occurrence. Venture is venture. Quality is now one. A dream and a scheme. The venture has a request. Speak to him further. Check my journal. Something spicy. He's made two requests. You can fulfill either one. Okay, well, I can't. I don't have... What do I need for this one? I'm missing some stuff. Unlocked with seven times Malter Salt. Okay. Or, or devil bone dice. I have neither of those, apparently, so I can't do it. Uh, okay, we want to go to the shipyard, and we want to do some uh, repairs, right? Wait, can I do a repair from the shipyard? No. Can I go to the, to the shops? No. Can I go into my hold? Sure. How the hell do I repair stuff? Does anybody know? Uh, uh, shops, shipyard. Do I just close this and do the repairs here? Chart? No, I can't. What the heck? Uh, maybe if I go to my lodgings? Should I go to my lodgings and see? Visit your study. Rest in a room above the thing. Consider retirement from Z-Faring Life. Purchase an elegant townhouse. Oh, I would love to do that. A thousand echo and we could get that. That would be so good. We can have a rest in a room um, above or visit my study. Once your lodgings are large enough to support a study, you can create items such as an ironclad will, a whispering trophy cabinet, or the Zong of the Z. Man, I cannot wait to sing the Zong of the Z. I like all this stuff. I like how you could do all this stuff. But also, I would love to know how to actually fix my ship. Because here I am, just like, plowing through this stuff. And I can't see. I mean, you'd think the shipyard would be the one. But maybe we need a dry dock? Is is that why we can't do it? Like, I don't know. I, I don't quite know how to fix my, my ship. And I would love to. Maybe if we go south, we can find something better. Or, you know, get killed. Um, what do we need then? We're gonna need some supplies. Okay, let's buy like, uh, let's buy like two supplies and let's just buy like two more fuel as well. And was there anyone else that wanted to join us? No, I don't think so. There's the Roser's Wharf. I don't really want to go there. London. 
We're in London. We could cruise in the Woolstack docks. We have some fairly good odds. We can hire on... Okay, put your ship in dry dock for repairs. Here we go. We're doing it. All right, we've done it. All right, we can go to the fuel stores. It's a tough challenge. Leadbetter and Stainrod Shipyard. L&H will do you a fair job for a decent price, but they have a reputation for cutting corners. Or we could go... C&H has a reputation for reliable for reliable work for a slightly higher price. It will completely repair my hull um, and it'll cost me 100 echo. Okay, let's do that. This what? Hey, wait, you may call in some of your admiralty favors to have cheap, good quality work done on your, sh on your ship. Oh, I'd like to do that actually. That's the one for me. We lost 24 echo and three favors, but our hull is completely repaired. Nice. Noice. Okay, good enough for now. Your ship is in acceptable shape. Thank you. We could also employ Rantus Faber engineers, but we don't have uh, what we need for that. All right, cool. All right, let us venture forth then. We don't really have uh, a goal this time. We're just going to head south to explore what's down here because we have not been south yet. We've been north, pretty far north as it happens, to a couple of places. Uh, the Admiralty would like me to visit Wither, but I've just been there and there's no way I'm going back. Like, I'm, I'm, I think I'm done with... Oh, shit, there's a dead end down here. Unbelievable. We're going to have to turn around. Wait, can we go under, under here? What is all this crap at the bottom? The Echo Bazaar. Oh, my God. Please boat. Please do a reversal. Okay, nice. The reversal worked. Okay, here, let's go. Okay, we are out. Slowly but surely, we're getting out. McNulty, Russo, what's our status? They both report back saying, what the fuck are you talking about? We're just like sitting down playing cards. This is the smallest ship ever and only one person needs to drive it. And we're still within the harbor of fallen London. So I don't think they like me very much. But we, we've got a lot of time together out here in the Sunless Sea. So let's work on our friendship while we're out here, okay? Russo, especially you, Russo. I can tell that you're the kind of lady who is just looking for a man with a mustache and a top hat to show you a good time and show you how things are done out here on sea. She's looking at my, like, um, non-calloused hands. Fuck me, it's really, really foggy. Uh, my non-calloused hands, she's looking at them and wondering how it is that I came to become such a, a pro um, adventurer and sailor and stuff, but without, like, ever having to do any work. And to that, I simply reply, that's what McNulty is here for. 